Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. And um, it is, what time is it? I can't even tell. The sun is so bright. I think it's quarter to six. Yes, 6.42. Um, I should do a quick outfit of the day. So the vlog went up yesterday from camping. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed Bob's Margaritaville dancing. <laughs> You just never know what he's going to do that one. So I am wearing stripes today. Shh, don't tell the stripe police. Um, I have this, I kept this shirt on purpose when I was, for those of you that don't know, I, I realize stripes are not a good look for those of us that are a little bit heavier. But I do like a good stripe every once in a while. And I like this shirt because it's really thin and it's it's been really warm in the office lately. I know I've told you guys that it's cool, but it'll be cool um, for a couple hours and then all of a sudden the afternoon it gets really stuffy and um, Kim and I were talking about it yesterday. We don't really know what's going on. Anyway, so um, the hair, by the way, is just the same that it's been. I'm sure you guys are sick of looking at it like this, but um, just with the humidity, I can't do anything but leave it naturally curly lately. So, all right, these white jeans I got, jean capris I got at Maurice's last year. And then this, where did I get this? Avenue? Nope, that's a lie. Torrid. I got this at Torrid last year. And I just have a black tank underneath it. And then these earrings, I have no idea. I have a couple of pairs. I have a silver pair, a gold pair, and then these black with silver on them. And then those shoes, of course, were the same ones you saw yesterday. I was going to wear my black cage ones, you guys. Probably those of you that watch a lot know what I'm talking about. i got to put some perfume on. And, but sometimes by the end of the day, those will hurt my feet a little bit more than some of the other ones. So I'm wearing these again. That's, that's the moral of that story. All right, so um, I felt like I had something to tell you guys. Maybe it was just that I wanted to make sure I told you. <laughs> Thanks for enjoying Bob's Margarita for dancing. Uh, um, so this weekend, Bob found out he has to work. I gotta put this away. Oh, I got, uh, you guys want a sneak peek of my next haul? I ordered a replacement of my, the Camp Cosmetics Take Two foundation. This is the powder foundation. This is what I like to wear when I'm not wearing any, any like liquid foundation. It's such good coverage. But anyway, I'm, I'm on a mission to own all of, um, the, their quince, yeah, their quince, so they have palettes. This one is the newest one that I got. And this one is Beautiful Like Me, I think. Yeah, Beautiful Like Me. I can get this brush out of the way, aren't those pretty? Like that color, ugh, can't even. It's probably, oops, it's probably not giving you the best. Well, anyway. It's like a mauve -y kind of burgundy. It's really pretty. So, I'm excited about that. Um, I, like I said, he's got, I don't even know how many, how many palettes they have, but I'm trying to slowly order them all because I want them all. So, um, yeah, so Bob has to work on Saturday. I lost my train of thought there. Bob has to work on Saturday. And I am actually going to the farmer's market in Madison with Eric, my hair genius. And so Madison is a good two and a half hours for me. And I'm going to go down to, I'm going to meet him in Oshkosh. And then we're going to drive to Madison together and go to the farmer's market. Um, I think it starts at eight, but we're, in, we're not even meeting in Oshkosh until nine. And then getting there about 10, 1030 and... I don't know what else we'll do, wander around State Street or something, I'm sure. So, yeah, that's that's what's going on this weekend. The point of that is, I don't know how much I'll vlog. I'll maybe try to vlog a little bit um, when I'm in Madison, but it might just be like getting some footage and I'll put music behind it or something. So I'm not obnoxious. Well, any more than I already am. Ah! All right, so with that, I'm gonna pack up my stuff, head on to work. I was gonna tell you guys, so, I had a comment from somebody. So it was one of those comments where there's no reply option. That said something like, um, I'm not, and, and I still don't know if she was being sarcastic or serious. You know, sometimes you never know on YouTube. But she said something about, on one of the vlogs last week, about not having any footage from the treadmill. <laughs> what, how am I supposed to get footage on the treadmill? And trust me, you don't want to see me. You don't want to see what I look like when I get off the treadmill. 
Um, it just cracks me up. Sometimes the comments that, that I, I know that I, I share this with you guys all the time because it's like you're my friends and I talk to my friends about this stuff. So um, it cracks me up that two things will happen. One, people will leave comments and they have their settings set purposefully. This is not the people that just maybe don't know, but they have them, their settings set purposefully so you can't respond to them. Um, that just cracks me up. I mean, if you're going to say something, at least give me the opportunity to respond. And the other thing that cracks me up is that people will leave a comment, like a nasty one, and then um, remove it. Like, within minutes. There was one the other day that was on, I don't know which one it was, but I went to respond to it because I'm, I mean, you, you want to leave a comment, I should be allowed to respond to it. <laughs> and so I went to respond and it was gone already, which cracks me up. So today, actually, I'm saying the word actually a lot. Today, um, my question and answer video is going up and whew, those always make me a little bit nervous. Particularly this one's making me a little bit nervous. So. Hopefully it goes over well. We'll see. So yeah, I'm just rambling now. I was going to tell you guys, I'm going to kind of come over here. Um, because I think this is a pretty good spot where it's not too washed up. So on my lips today, I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani um, Maestro in 502, which is the more berry of the three shades that I got. I love these, you guys. Love. Um, and then on the rest of my face, I'm wearing that... Dr. Jart BB cream. I man, I'm really impressed with that stuff. Um, and then I have um, three Catrice. Catrice? Are they are, are they all Catrice or are there some Essence? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think they're all Catrice eyeshadow. But I think these are the baked ones. Well, these are the baked ones, and I think those are the ones that are available at Ulta. So I have to check that out. I'm going to. to a lot of people ask me to do a video on like my Catrice favorites. And I don't have a ton of things that are available at Ulta that I know of. So I think I might pull those out. That might be my Saturday video if I um, have the opportunity to do that. Um, so I might pull out everything that I have and, um, you know, kind of talk about what is and isn't available, at least according to the website. So that's what's on my face today. I'm going to pack it myself and get to work. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, and um, I just, what time is it? 5.18. I'm a little behind today. Not well, not really. I'm behind if I'm going to end up filming today. <laughs> I haven't decided. I need to film Thursday's, or Saturday's video yet. But, I just go ahead and grab my phone because I want to show you guys the um, sunrise. And some of you really appreciate that. Too bad out here this morning. Let me guess 65 wait here. I just don't know that the camera does this justice. I'm gonna try to pick take a picture of my phone and insert it if that's better. It's not pretty. Calm and peaceful. <laughs> anyway, just thought I would show you guys that. After I finish my hair and makeup, then I'll come back and show you an outfit of the day, but good morning. Okay, so I thought, I think that this was a good spot where I put this here the last time. I thought that I would just um, talk to you guys just a little bit while I was, some of you guys really seem to like when I do this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I am quite frankly blown away <laughs> by the comments on um, my question and answer video. For those of you that maybe are just vlog watchers and don't watch my beauty channel, I did a q and A. I I kind of had decided at the last minute that I was going to do it, and so I just put it up on Instagram to see if I would get any questions, and ended up getting over 100 <laughs> questions, which I was surprised by. Um, so I answered some of those, and one of, you know, some of the, well not some of them, one of them was really just kind of a, a touchy subject that I felt. Um, I needed to finally talk about, or I don't know if address is the right word. Um, but I totally stopped talking there and started focusing on my eyebrow and forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, excuse me, I, I was blown away already yesterday 
And um, this morning, I was practically in tears with how nice um, the comments and support of the comments were. So I'm not able to, I'm not going to be able to answer all those comments. And I had kind of said that in the, in the video that, that I wouldn't, you know, be answering comments on that particular video. So I just thought I would take an opportunity here to talk to you guys, um, you know, the ones that watch my blog channel. I mean, I want to say thank you to all, everybody. And I'll probably say it in the video that I filmed today, but, um, yeah, I was just blown away. The support that you guys give me is just, it, it, it honestly, it blows me away. So I wanted to just say that, um, I didn't look this morning actually, but I was looking at the weather, the, the weather, the weather for Madison for Saturday. Oh my goodness. It's supposed to be like 90. That is pretty hot for me. I do not function well at 90. Um, currently it's a delightful 57 degrees outside and not humid. Actually, let's just see what the dew point is. Um, Bob and I decided we're going to try to keep the windows. I'm going to close the windows before I go to work. And then hopefully, yeah, it's 55 is the dew point. Um, so I'll close the windows and then just he'll open them up when he gets home. So Madison is also 58 degrees right now. Oh, they brought it down to 88 degrees for Saturday. But there's 60% chance of rain, so I'm really bummed. Um, and not just rain, like thunderstorms, so... We shall see what happens there. Um, we're going to go either way and just, you know, hope for the best. And so I'm going to go do a little, oh, not I, we, Eric and I are going to go down on State Street. And I have never been, um, I'll have to explain, I guess I have been there, but I've never, like, gone around on State Street, which is crazy. I've never been to a Badger game either, which I'd like to, a Badger football game. So, um, State Street, I think you can't drive on it, for those of you that don't know. It's right down by the Capitol in Madison, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't drive on it, and you can only, um, you can only walk, and there's bunches of, like, shops and restaurants and stuff, I think, I don't know. And, anyway, so when I was in high school for State Solon Ensemble, um, which I hope that, I don't know if everybody knows what that is, but it's for uh, musicians like that you perform at local solo, solo and ensemble, which means you perform in doing solos or ensembles. And if you get um, the highest score that they can give like at your local level, then you go to state. That's what that is. So I went to um, state for, I don't know, I don't even remember how many things. And it was just the one year because when I lived in Pennsylvania, I, I only lived here for my senior year of high school. Before that, we lived in Pennsylvania. And before that, I lived in Wisconsin. It's a long story. Anyway, um, so I was there. I was at the Capitol for that, but we didn't have time, is my point, to go down because we were there for other reasons. So, seriously, not probably not important to start. So I'm excited to go down there and walk around and see what's, you know, just... Just see the sights, I guess. It will be fun. And I'm looking forward to doing it with with Eric. He and I have done it. Like, we've gone for lunch once, and he came up here for fish once and that sort of thing. But this will, we haven't done, like, a ton of hanging out. So it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So this morning I'm filming, hopefully, let's see what time it is. 5.45. This morning I'm hopefully filming, in case you're wondering why I'm only this far when the last time I checked in was a while ago, it was because I was collecting all the things that I'm going to film about this morning. It takes some time. Um, so anyway, I'm filming a rehaul this morning, hopefully, if I get my butt in gear here. And then I need to get going and get out to work, so. All right, I'm going to stop rambling, otherwise this video is going to be way too long, and we'll see you later. Okay, it's quarter, or no, it's 20 to 7, and um, I just finished filming. It was one of those videos where I think to myself, whew, when you look at that footage, Kristen, there's going to be a lot of footage. <laughs> like I talked way too much. Um, and by the way, this morning I used the Living Proof Curl Defining Style Cream. I have this little packet of it. 
because somebody had mentioned or suggested, let me put this back in here, um, or a couple people I think maybe, that maybe a curl cream would be better than a mousse for me. And I was like, you know what, I think I have a packet of that. So I looked, and sure enough, I did. And I tried it, and I, I gotta say, I really like how it really seems to have here. Let me set you down here. It really defined my curls a little bit better, I think. I don't know. This is what always happens right after I do a video saying, here's my curly hair routine that I'm loving. Sorry. Here's my curly hair routine that I'm loving. Oh, and then I'll change it a week later. <laughs> Just the way it goes. Um, all right. So, outfit of the day. Although I do feel like this part of my hair is a little bit flat, but. Um, outfit of the day today. These earrings are from Francesca. This is an Alexis Batar necklace. And I have customer coming today. So I'm dressed up and whatnot. Um, gray slacks from Lane Bryant, I think. Sweater is from Maurice's. I really like these kind of full wrap sweaters. Tank is from Target, if I remember correctly. Actually, it's a cami. And then, oh, sorry, these shoes, I've had these forever, I've talked about them before. They're by that brand Soft, I think it is. I love them. They're very comfortable. And, I have to put it this way. And um, they don't hurt my feet at the end of the day. Which, by the way, I do think that not wearing flat f shoes is helping, aside from the ones that are made for my, sh for my feet, like those Vianic ones I made. Um, and if I don't wear those, I wear wedges. So oh, I gotta close the windows. <laughs> if I don't wear, I'm in charge of closing the windows today. If I don't wear those, I wear wedges. And then um, those inserts in my shoes when I'm walking on the treadmill. Those seem to be, it was from Heal the Heal the Pain .com or something. A couple of you guys suggested it. Those seem to be helping. Um, so yeah, I've, it still hurts in the morning when I get up, but I feel like it's nowhere near as bad as it. Um, as it once was, so that's good. I should show you guys, by the way. We got some cucumbers from the garden. Look, they're right next to Bob's Jose. I mean, who doesn't keep their cucumbers? In? So anyway, we've got some nice cucumbers there. Um, and then I'll show you. I'm gonna grab out some stuff for my lunch here. Um, I think he got, he got curious and wanted to dig up some potatoes. You know, it's the first year. It's exciting. Um, and so, and they are baby red, so they're supposed to be small, but he put them out here last night. I'm not sure why they're out here, but um, anyway, so we have some baby red potatoes. It's about the cutest thing ever that he already dug them up because he was curious. Oh, I tell you, that's why I love him. So. All right, I'm gonna pack my stuff up. I'm gonna to get to work and I will see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. I just realized I have no lips on. Yep. <laughs> so it is Thursday morning and it is going to be a hot one today, my friends, which makes me not wanna wear, are you guys like that when it's hot? I don't really wanna wear a bunch of junk on my lips. I usually like to go for something with just a little bit of color in it. Okay, so I like to use like a, more like a gloss with some color in it. And the, um, the Camp Cosmetics Lip Lavas, there's different kind of, not formulas, but different finishes in their line. Anyway, this is the one in Sex Drive. So it has plenty of color, a little sheen, not too heavy. Anyway, I poked myself in the eye with a Q-tip this morning by accident. I got distracted and so this eye is all red the kind of morning that I've had so far. So, um, I'll show you my outfit of the day after I put my jacket on here in a minute. But I want to tell you guys that the book that I read while we were camping was called The Looking Glass Wars, was part of a trilogy. And I loved it so much. While we were camping, around the campfire, I ordered the other two. So, this is the second one. Um, it's called Seeing Red. And then this one is called Arch Enemy. So, you know, normally... I like sci-fi, like I like to, like, I enjoy Star Wars, I watched that show, what was that show? Oh, I can't remember what it was, what it was now. Oh, it was the crazy show on the sci-fi channel. Anyway, I'll think of it at some point, put it here. But, um, 
I like sci-fi, but I don't always like to read sci-fi. And um, so when this book was suggested to me, I was like, well, okay, you know, I'll, I'll read it. Anyway, so um, I loved it. I could not put it down while we were camping, um, which, you know, it's good to, it, was, it gave me, you know, something to kind of do that wasn't have my phone in my hand, you know. I, I'm not ashamed to admit I need help not having my phone in my hand. So yeah, it was. It just was one of those books that kept me interested, and I kept wanting to read and read and read. And so I think I started it. I started it one day, finished it the next. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, it was good. So I couldn't determine what kind of necklace I wanted to wear with this, so I'm just going with no necklace. And I'm wearing these black earrings. I have these swirly ones in gold and silver and black. I think those are the colors I have. Anyway, so I am sporting today these uh, pink, these are those hot pink Sejour Capris that I have really enjoyed. I have them in hot pink and in um, like a tan color. Then this, um, this is a tank, a very sheer one that I can, I can still feel comfortable in if I want to take off my jacket if it gets too hot at work, um, which doesn't happen very often. It gets stuffy sometimes. Anyway. And I got it at um, Torrid. And then this jacket is from Lane. You've seen that before. And then these are my my favorite shoes. Also, I got it Lane a couple of years ago. So I have to leave work a little bit <clears throat> early today to go meet my parents for an appointment. And then, um, yeah, I'm not doing a bracelet today. So anyway, I wanted to get into work extra early at 6 o'clock. I'm going to pack up and I'm going to head out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I wonder, I should put Bob's camera out. He and Ben are going fishing tonight. That's his plan anyway. Um, so yeah, maybe there'll be some fish footage. Who knows? Good morning, everybody. It is quarter after five. <clears throat> and I'm just going to show you a little... Who buddy, it's humid. But... Um, I'm not sure if that'll come across on camera how pretty that is. That pink. Sorry, I'm chewing on my vitamin C. Um, but really pretty. I just thought I would try it quickly. Um, <coughs> Bob did not um, take the camera last night, which is totally fine. I had set it out just in case you wanted to. I was going to show you guys. We have one piece of our camper that's been broken forever. Um, and it was just the latch on the door. It wasn't like broken that we couldn't use it. It just was hard to kind of open. So um, we ordered this piece. And I was going to show you guys. Because last night I opened it up and I was like, oh, I could probably fix this. And then, because I thought it was just like a couple of screws. But then I saw this, screw, this um, spring thing and this thing. And I thought, hmm. That's going to take more, more time than I have patience for in as hot as it was outside. <laughs> so I decided, well, um, I'm going to wait, and I might do it tomorrow morning before I leave. <clears throat> so tomorrow, um, I think I told you guys. I don't know. I'm going to, yeah, I did. I'm going to Farmer's Market with Eric. Um, Bob actually has to work tomorrow. I was, um, we were back and forth on whether Bob was going to come or not. Um, but he has to work, so... He hasn't had to work a lot of Saturdays. Not like when I first, I think I've told you guys, when I first met him, he had to work like every Saturday. And he hasn't had to, so he can't really complain too much, but it's kind of a bummer. I don't think he's bummed too much though, because it's supposed to be hotter than blazes. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, it's supposed to be like 90 degrees plus. So I think he's not too sad about not being, <laughs> not going to the farmer's market in Madison. But, um, and I still don't know about whether I'll be vlogging down there or not. I would really like to because we're going to go up and down State Street and that sort of thing. But, like I said, there may be vlogging that doesn't have any sound behind it because I don't want Eric to feel uncomfortable since I'm the vlogger, not him. I guess for my coffee. So, that is what's going on tonight's grocery shopping night, of course. So, hopefully, I'm not sure I'm going to take a look at the footage while I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to upload this footage while I'm doing my makeup. So, it takes a while to upload it. See how long it is or how much footage I have and then from there I'll determine whether I'm going to end this vlog and start a new one tonight or I'm going to tack on tonight to this one so I guess we'll see 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go upload this footage and put on some makeup. All right, so it's 20 after six. I've been doing some YouTube stuff while getting ready and whatnot. I have to tell you this. So I do have a list of things that I want to order from Ulta. Um, I have like $50 in the points or whatever to use there. And I actually have a gift card from something that I returned and it was past the whatever days. So I have like $30 on that. And um, the other day I placed an order from a new diffuser because I dropped mine and cracked it and it won't attach to my hair dryer anymore. Really. Anyway, the, the point of this is that originally when I was waiting, I knew that I was going to need to get a new diffuser, but all of a sudden it stopped staying on my blow dryer, so I'm having to like hold it on there. Anyway, I was like, originally I was going to just wait for a 20% off coupon and then I was like, I'm just going to get it. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So guess what came in the mail yesterday? Hold on, let me put my coffee cup over my address. I mean, really? <laughs> oh, I just laughed. So, um, but like I said, there are things that on my list that I need to get that aren't, I shouldn't say need to get, that I want to get. Just a couple of things. Um, and so I will use it for that, but I just laughed. This is good through, oh, through the 1st. I thought it was through the 8th. It's only through August 1st, so I better figure that out because we're going camping next weekend. Um, so anyway, I, I upload the footage. There's like 28 minutes already, so I better stop talking, <clears throat> show you my outfit of the day, and end this vlog. <laughs> Although it's not really all that interesting. Sometimes I just want to go like back to basic. By the way, if you see the, um, I have a pair of pants that I need to take and get the hem fixed on, and a blazer that needs to be pressed that I can't manage to press, so I need to take it to the dry cleaners, and that's what's sitting back there. The the gal that does like the mending that I can't do, she's at the dry cleaner as well. So anyway, um, how basic is this? I just did kind of a pop color with my shoes. So these are like those ankle pants, not like they are the ankle pants from um, Lane Bryant. This necklace was a gift from Laura. And this is that side sheer t-shirt from Lane Bryant. <clears throat> I tried to look them up the last time. And they must be out of stock or something. And then these earrings, let's see if you guys can see them. Aren't they cute? They're like wooden and light as air. And um, I got them in an, a boutique in Galena, Illinois, when I went a while back. So uh, I keep, you know what? I'm going to grab these. Maybe I'll take them this morning. They don't open till 7. So when I go in early, I don't hit them. Actually, I won't. I won't hit them again because I'm leaving now. I just had a conversation with myself and decided to take these because <laughs> I'll go, I'll run on my lunch. Friday is usually my errand running day for lunch and I go to the post office, check my P.O. box, that sort of thing. And um, if I need to run to the bank, I do that, that sort of thing. All right, I was supposed to stop talking so this vlog wasn't too long. We shall see. I think I have some long bits of footage where I'm was doing my makeup earlier. I may, I may, not today, but earlier in the week, I may cut that out. Heaven only knows what I was blabbing about. Okay, so very quickly, I think I'll stand here. We'll see how this goes. On my face today, I used that Tarte palette. Can't remember what it's called now. There's three shadows on each side and a blush in the middle. Anyway, that's what I used. And I used the, um, on the right side, the neutrals, obviously. And then I took a little bit of the blush in my crease. And on my lips today, which doesn't necessarily go <laughs> with this look, but I, I just, I'm trying to use up because it's something I use it up. So I have MAC Half Red and then MAC Viva Glam 5 on my lips today. So, all right. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you had a great week and we will see you in the next one. Bye.